The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A. Papano Beach High takes on Deerfield Beach High tonight on School Duel. Lee and welcome to School Duel, where 16 high schools from Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach counties battle it out in an academic tournament for South Florida bragging rights. And of course, the winner gets to walk away with a school trophy from EDCO, championship rings from Herf Jones, $200 gift certificates from IKEA, a $1,000 check for each student courtesy of Chick-fil-A, and of course, there's so much more. With that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. As you see, the second round game matches Pompano Beach High School versus Deerfield Beach High School in what is going to be quite a showdown. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the semifinal round. How exciting is that, everyone? <laughs> but wait, there's so much more because during the show, each student will compete in the Chick-fil-A Challenge. Here, the student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich meals for an entire year. Sounds good, everyone? Yeah. All right, good. All right, before we get started, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and start out with Pompano Beach High Golden Tornadoes. Woo! I feel like I should be feeling a lot of wind right now. We're going to go ahead and start off with Matthews Correa. Correct? <laughs> then you're a senior. Getting ready to get out of here, huh? Then we have, <laughs> we have Delaney Verger, senior as well. She said, I'm coming too. We have Esha Valen Benani. Valen Benani. Valen Benani. OK, I was kind of close. And you're a junior. And the captain of Pompano Beach's team is, give it up for Miss Allison Colvin, a junior. <laughs> we are happy to have you all here today. Now let's go ahead and meet Deerfield Beach High's Bucks. Here we go. We have Kenan Tugrell, a junior. Thanks for being, what was that? A little? Yeah, happy to be here. <laughs> happy to be here. <laughs> That's cool. And we also have Thomas LaCava, a, a senior. Sorry, oh my gosh, almost did a fatal error uh, there. This one? <laughs> we also have Carolyn Steven, a senior. And the captain of Deerfield Beach's team is Ara. Parik, a senior. Did I say your last name correct? Parik. Parik. Okay, cool. I apologize. All right, guys, welcome. Here we go. Our first round is called the warning shot. Here at School Against School, competing with toss-up questions directed at the entire group. So it's anyone's game right now. Each question is worth 10 points. And if a question is incorrect, the school, the other school then gets one chance to steal the points. All right, schools, are you ready? Let's get this baby started. Prepare for the warning shot. That sounds scary. I wanted to. <laughs> Just playing. Here we go. First question. Football. In football, the game clock stops after what kind of pass? Oh, judges, are we going to give it to? Go ahead, Mathis. Incomplete pass is correct. Good job. It's also, <laughs> it's correct. Minor technical difficulties, but I'm giving you that point, okay? Astronomy. In astronomy, any natural object, any natural object that orbits around object, another object is called a what, Thomas? A satellite. Satellite, good. Very good. Philosophy of life. What word completes this passage by Albert Einstein? Quote, there are only two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle. The other is as though everything is a... Carolyn? Miracle. Correct. <laughs> Miracle. Huh. Are you proud, huh? <laughs> Astrophysics. What are believed to form when massive stars collapse from their own... Thomas? Black holes. Correct. I'll finish the question for the audience and everyone else. What, is, what are believed to form when massive stars collapse from their own gravity, creating a pull from which nothing can escape? Very good. Black hole. Political subdivisions. Major political subdivisions in the U.S. are called states while those of Canada are called what? Yes, Mathis. Provinces. 
Provinces, very good. Are you Canadian by any chance? No? no? Brazilian. <laughs> oh, okay. Crime. A perpetrator of what crime threatens to destroy property, cause injury, or reveal a damaging secret unless he receives something of value? Asha? Blackmailer. Blackmailer, very good. Also known as extortion. All right, guys, my favorite part of the game. It's time for the Where Am I question brought to you by Spirit Airlines, home of the $9 Fair Club. Now, all right, contestants, you will be given a famous location and a clue and then asked to name the place described. But get this, because we're getting ready to move into the semifinals round, we've kind of upped it a bit, and so whoever answers this question correct will win two tickets to anywhere Spirit flies. Is that good? Yeah. All right, you guys are excited? Here we go. All right. This monument is one of England's greatest national icons. Its original purpose is unclear, but some have speculated that... Thomas? Stonehenge. Correct. <laughs> Very good. All right. I'll finish it off because I know a lot of people are watching and they're learning something. Its original purpose is unclear, but some have speculated that this circular setting of large standing stones was a temple made for ancient worship. The Stonehenge. Very good. High five. You have gotten those Spirit Airline tickets. All right. Moving along, blood pressure. Blood pressure is measured in what kind of blood vessels? Yes, Thomas. Veins. Incorrect. Pompadour? Rapids? Very good. Arteries. Very good. All right, moving along, we have cartoon quotes. These are the words of what animated bird? Beep, beep. Thomas? Roadrunner. Roadrunner, correct. Ah, give him a high five. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Law enforcement. Oh, did you hear that? Ah, oh, that buzzer means the end to the warning shot round. We have Deerfield Beach leading by only 10 points. They have 50 points. Pompano Beach is right behind them with 40 points. But don't go anywhere because we are going to be right back with more School Duel just after these messages. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Team Member Scholarship Program, encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Changed to the Leadership Scholarship Program in 1996, Chick-fil-A has awarded over $20 million in scholarships to team members who are active in their schools and communities, demonstrate a solid work ethic, and possess strong leadership abilities, good teamwork, and a desire to succeed. Chick-fil-A is dedicated to its people and education. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Have you considered taking your high school courses online? Broward County Schools offers free virtual education for middle and high school. Courses include regular, honors, and advanced placement in all subject areas. Take one course or take a full course load all online. Broward Virtual Education welcomes homeschool and private school students. For more information or to enroll, call us at 754-321-1100 or visit us online at www.bbed.net while there's still space available. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Duel. Our first round of action ended with Deerfield Beach High leading with 50 points, but Pompano Beach is right behind them, literally with 40 points. But there's so much more to come, of course, as we enter round two, the joust. Now, here, one player from each school competes head-to-head -head with a 10-point toss-up question. The school that wins that question then gets three bonus questions, worth five, then 10, and then finally 15 points. All right, schools, are you ready? Because it's time to joust. Here we go. First up, our team captains, we have Allison and Ara. All right, ladies, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. For some time, Abraham Lincoln refused to issue this famous proclamation for fear. Yes, Ara. The Emancipation Proclamation. That is correct. Very good job. I'm going to finish the question just for, um, he refused to issue this famous proclamation for fear of offending slave states remaining in the Union. Good job, Deerfield Beach. You guys are getting the remaining questions, so come on down, join your teammates, and I'll give you the remaining questions for this category that all deal with Abraham Lincoln. Bonus question number one, of course, is worth five points. Who wrote this in 1865? Quote, our country owes all our troubles to Lincoln. God has made me the instrument of his punishment. 
Thomas. John Wilkes Booth. Correct. Good job. High five on that one. Woo. Nice. Bonus question number two, worth 10 points. Abraham Lincoln delivered his, quote, House Divided speech on the occasion of his nomination as a Republican candidate for senator from what state? Yes, Thomas. Illinois. Illinois. Very good. You're on a roll. Bonus question number three, worth 15 points. In the senatorial campaign in which Lincoln said, quote, I believe this government cannot endure half slave and half free, to whom did he lose this election? Oh, incorrect. That would be Stephen Douglas. Oh, yes. Carolyn, Isha, come on down. Your time, ladies. The joust. Go ahead and give yourself. Yeah, there we go. We like that. Nice handshake here. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. In 1997, Dolly was instantly famous worldwide when she became the first mammal to be re reproduced through what process? Yes, Carolyn. Cloning. Cloning is correct. Deerfield Beach, you guys. Getting the next set of questions that all deal with genes and genetic engineering. Bonus question number one is worth five points. In the early 1900s, Hugo de Vries noticed that several new traits appeared in the offspring of the plants he was studying. He guessed the cause of this new trait to be permanent changes in the genetic material. Such changes are now called what? Ara? Mutations. Very good, mutations. You feel good about that one, right? All right. Bonus question number two is worth 10 points. Structures in the nucleus of a cell, which consists of genes, are called what? Thomas. Chromosomes. Chromosomes. Good job. I'll give you a fist bump for that one. There we go. Bonus question number three worth 15 points. Charles Darwin did not have an answer as to why offsprings are not exactly like their parents. Unknown to him, what Austrian monk at the same time was gathering evidence to answer this question? Carolyn? Mendel. Mendel, very good. Gregor Mendel. R is real proud over there as a captain. All right, next to Thomas and Delaney. Come on down. Go ahead and start, start off with a nice firm handshake. And here are your toss-up questions worth 10 points. Tropical forests occupy the greatest area of on which continent, which is also known for its Latin flair? Yes, Thomas. South, Af South America. South America, very good. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Woo! Go ahead, wipe your forehead for that one. Deerfield Beach stealing it again. Here we go. The following bonus questions all deal with the rainforest. Bonus question number one is worth five points. What is the largest river that flows through the world's largest tropical rainforest? Thomas? The Amazon River. Correct. The Amazon River. Bonus question number two, ten points. Name the largest river that flows through the world's second largest rainforest. Thomas? The Nile River. Incorrect. It'd be the Congo. It's also a dance we like to do here in South Florida. <laughs> Bonus question number three, worth 15 points. Name the northernmost country in the Western Hemisphere that has a tropical rainforest within its borders. Thomas. America. Incorrect. That would be Mexico, or also known as Mexico. Next, Kenan and Matthews, come on down. Here are your toss-up questions worth 10 points. To what does the plural pronoun refer in this line from a Dr. Seuss story? I do not like, I do not like them, Sam I am. Yes, Matthews. Green eggs and ham. That's correct. Green eggs and ham. Pompano. That's right. You guys are in it to win it, huh? The following bonus questions all deal with the famous Dr. Seuss. Bonus questions number one worth five points. Name Dr. Seuss's egg hatching elephant. Delaney? Horton. Horton. That's right. And he also hears a tube. <laughs> bonus question number two is worth ten points. What name completes this excerpt from a Dr. Seuss story? Did I ever tell you that Mrs. McCabe had 23 sons and she named them all? Delaney? Dave. Dave. Did you guess that one? Yeah. Yeah, it rhymed, right? She made sense. Bonus question number three, worth 15 points. Finish this phrase according to Dr. Seuss. When Tweedle Beetles battle with paddles in a puddle, they call it a Tweedle Beetle puddle. Yes. Battle. Oh, incorrect. Paddle battle. Very close, though. Yes. Up. Oh. There's the buzzer, and that means the end to the joust. We have Deerfield Beach leading with 130 points. Pompano Beach has 65 points, but don't worry, we'll have time for you guys to get more points and redeem yourselves. Right, we'll be right back after these short messages. So stay tuned to School Duel. Win 50 bucks from School Duel and Bright Star Credit Union. 
It's easy. Go to SchoolDuel.tv, submit the correct answer to the Bright Star Question of the Week, and you're automatically entered into the drawing to win a $50 Visa gift card. You can also vote for the player of the game on SchoolDuel.tv. A new winner is announced each week based on your votes, and all votes lead to the top player of the season. Visit SchoolDuel.tv. Everyone is welcome to play and vote. Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of SchoolDuel on Beacon TV. Parents and students, wake up every school day with Before the Bell, an informational show providing the 411 on what's happening that day in Broward Public Schools. The show includes lunch menus, community and school calendars, and everything else you need to know for a great day. Before the Bell can be seen every school day starting at 6.30 a.m. right here on Beacon TV. Invest in yourself. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's school dual champion. Now the second round match has Pompano Beach High School competing against Deerfield Beach High. We have Deerfield Beach leading right now with 130 points. Pompano Beach has 65 points. We're now ready for the rapid fire round. Here each school picks a category. They will then try to answer 10 questions within 60 seconds from that category. Each question is worth 10 points. The other school will then get a chance to steal any missed questions. Since Pompano Beach High is trailing, we'll be nice and give them the opportunity to pick their category. Today's topics are, it's all Greek to me, and when in Rome. So which category would you guys like? We chose when in Rome. When in Rome, okay, great. The following category contains questions about ancient Rome. Each question is worth 10 points and you will have 60 seconds to answer them. So, cue music and here we go. Judea was a re region in the Roman Empire adjacent to what body of water? Delaney. Mediterranean Sea. What volcano was the source of the ash that buried Pompeii? Mount yes. Vesuvius. Who was the twin brother of Romulus? Ramus. Goat is an anagram for what garment worn by citizens of ancient Rome? Garland. An advisory council for Roman kings eventually evolved into what powerful legislative body? What month is named after the first ruler of the Roman Empire? October. What language, what was the language of ancient Rome? Matthews. Latin. Name the best known of all Roman governors of Judea because of his role in the trial and execution of a certain man of Nazareth. Caesar. Around the year 64, what Roman Empire initiated, emperor initiated the persecution of Christians and witnessed the burning of Rome? Caesar. Hannibal tried to capture Rome. Oh, I'll try to get to the last question for you guys. Now, Deerfield Beach, you have the opportunity to steal their questions if they got incorrect. Goat is an anagram for what garment worn by citizens? Yes, Carolyn? Toga. Toga is correct. An advisory council for Roman kings eventually evolved into what powerful legislative body? Carolyn? Congress. Correct. Close though, the Senate. What month is named after the first ruler? Yes, August. Kenan. Yes. N name the best known of all the Roman governors of Judea because of his role? Yes, Kenan. Pontius Pilate. Very good. Around the year 64, what Roman Empire initiated the persecution of Christians and witnessed... Yes, Thomas? Constantinople. Incorrect, Nero. Ah, close. Okay, here we go. Don't worry, Pompano. You'll get to steal whatever questions they get wrong, okay? Deerfield Beach. It's all Greek to me is your category, and this category deals with questions about ancient Greece. Remember, you have 60 seconds to answer these questions worth 10 points each. So cue music, and here we go. Ancient Athenians developed what form of government? Democracy. Zeus held this court on what mountain? Olympus. According to Aesop, what little animal saved a lion? A mouse. A thousand. What were launched by the face of Helen of Troy? Ships. Correct. What Italian astronomer disapproved of Aristotle's belief that heavier objects fall faster than lighter ones? Galileo. 
The Parthian Parthenon is an ancient temple on a hill overlooking what city? Athens. Hippocrates is the father of what modern field of science? Medicine. Very good. What pupil of Aristotle conquered most of the ancient world? Socrates. Usually horses pulled chariots in ancient Roman Greece, but sometimes they substituted what kind of bird for the horses? The principal domestic animal of the ancient Greeks were sheep and? Goats. Very good, all right, you got through everything. Good job. Now, Pompano Beach, you have the opportunity to steal the two questions that they got incorrect. What pupil of Aristotle conquered most of the ancient world? All right, that'd be Alexander the Great. All right, next, usually horses pulled chariots in ancient Roman Greece, but sometimes they substituted what kind of birds for the horses? Matthews? Ostrich. Yes, very good. Did you take a guess with that one? Oh. Yes, well, it was correct. Good job. And there's my famous buzzer. And that means the end to the rapid fire round. We have Deerfield Beach winning with 240 points. Pompano Beach has 115 points. But let's go ahead and give these guys a short break so I know they could use it. And then we'll be right back for the final showdown. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Team Member Scholarship Program, encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Changed to the Leadership Scholarship Program in 1996, Chick-fil-A has awarded over $20 million in scholarships to team members who are active in their schools and communities, demonstrate a solid work ethic, and possess strong leadership abilities, good teamwork, and a desire to succeed. Chick-fil-A is dedicated to its people and education. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Are you interested in learning about TV production? Be a part of the Briar Teen News Team, South Florida's only teen-produced news show. Experience working at an actual TV station while learning on state-of-the-art digital equipment. We offer positions in everything from studio crew to school reporter. And for the more experienced students, we offer advanced credits as part of our internship program. If you're a student in Broward and you want to be a part of our team, then we've got a spot for you. For more information, go to www.browardteennews.org and click on Join Our Team. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Thanks for joining us. We are back with more School Duel just for you. And we've got a good second round match going with Deerfield Beach leading with 240 points. Pompano Beach High has 115 points. And there's still time to get more points, Pompano. You're in there. All right, it's now time for the final showdown. This is the last round. Schools go against each other with toss-up questions, but this time they are worth 20 points. And remember, if a question is incorrect, the other school can steal it, steal all the points for that question. All right, schools, are you ready? Yeah. It's time for the final showdown. This question deals with Congress. Add the numbers of senators to the numbers of members in the House of Rep. Yes. 135. No, nope. incorrect. 435 is incorrect. Deerfield Beach, would you, I'm going to finish the question for you. Add the numbers of senators to the numbers of members in the House of Representatives. Thomas? 535. Correct. 535. Moving along. Particles. Name one of the two acceptable past participles of the verb burn. Delaney? Burned. Yes, very good. Or burnt, which is something we don't like to do at home, right? Local movie stars. This actor attended Miramar High School in Broward and later became, yes, Allison? Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, yeah. I think he just won a, an award from the Teen, Nickelodeon Teen Choice Awards. Did you guys see that? No, you don't. You're teens. Come on. All right. <laughs> don't worry. Here's a question on Roman numerals. In Roman numerals, if the letters capital M followed by capital C equals 1,100, what does capital C before M equals? Yes, Matthew. 900. 900, good job, because capital M would be 1,000 and capital C is 100. With C placed before the M, you would subtract. Light analogies. Wax, wax paper is to translucent as cellophane is to? Thomas? Um, hey. Oh, uh, no. Pompano? 
Clear. Isha? Clear is correct, also transparent. Very good. All right, it's time for my favorite part, the who am I question, where you'll be given up to four clues about a famous person and asked to tell his or her name. Of course, this is all brought to you guys by Huntington Learning Center's America's Tutoring Providers. Now, are you guys ready? All right, here you go. Who am I? She was the first female artist to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She was the only featured singer at the 2009 presidential inauguration. She is an American singer. Allison? Aretha Franklin. That's correct, Aretha Franklin. Big high five right there. Woo-hoo! Good job, Allison. Abbreviations, what is the meaning of the first word in the abbreviation AM? Thomas? After. No, incorrect. Pompano for the steal. Delaney? After midnight? No, before. Anti-meridian. That's what AM means, which is Latin for before noon. All right, racing. What kind of horse racing involves hedges, ditches, fences, and other obstacles? Thomas? Steeplechase. Yes, good job. High five. Wow, very good. Weather. The chief areas of weather disturbances, figuratively called the battle zones of air masses, are called what? Ah, fronts. We know that. Where are we watching news? Yeah, look at that. Everyone's like, oh, I know that. Leaders, this is about what president? I'm going to read something here. You tell me. With a degree in nuclear engineering from Annapolis, he served in the Navy for seven years working as an aide to Hyman Rickover. But in 1953, after the death of his father, he was forced to change careers abruptly and return to run the family peanut business. Who am I talking about, Ara? Uh, Jimmy Carter. Yes, and he's our 39th president of the United States. Very good. Powerful special interest groups. What amendment passed in 1920 was the greatest triumph of the Anti-Saloon League? Yes, Thomas? 19th Amendment. Let's say it again. 19th Amendment. Oh, you're so close. 21st. Uh, incorrect. 18th Prohibition. <gasps> oh, and that buzzer brings an end to this school duel as Deerfield Beach has held on to beating Pompano Beach. Deerfield Beach ends with 300 points. Pompano Beach with 215. And that win, Deerfield Beach, puts you in the semi-final round. Congratulations. <laughs> Give it up for Ter Deerfield Beach. All right, good job, everyone. Pompano Beach, you did an awesome job as well. We're happy to have you here today. Now, this also brings an end to the Chick-fil-A challenge. And today's winner is, drum roll, please. <laughs> Thomas, congratulations. You have won Chick-fil-A sandwich meals for an entire year. Of course, at this moment, I'd like to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible. And please make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel on Monday night at 7 as Hialeah High School takes on Westminster Christian High in another exciting second round match. And don't forget to visit our website where you can win prizes as well. And our website is schoolduel.tv. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks for joining us. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A.